Bladesmiths, this is the strength test, the wooden ramrod chop. To test the strength and durability of your edge, as well as the overall construction of your knives, I'll be chopping into this ramrod 10 times. Bob, you're up first, you ready? No, but let's do it. All right. <laughs> Naturally, I'm nervous. My concern on the wooden rammer chop is that the edge rolls or maybe the blade breaks. Steel is a finicky little critter. Sometimes it works real good, sometimes it just snaps in your face. You'll never know until you test it. And there she goes. Feel like a punch in the gut. Well, Bob, quite obviously, your blade broke. Oops. And looking at your grain, I would like to have seen thermocycling done to your blade. The grain that I'm seeing in here is, is a lot more coarse than I would like to see, and that lends to a, a more brittle blade. Bob, your blade suffered a critical failure in the very first strike at the very first test. However, in order to proceed, two more bladesmiths still have to make it through this test. Bob, you're not out yet. Gentlemen, your blades are made out of the exact same steel Let's see if they hold up. Ben? Daniel, you're up next. You feeling lucky? I reckon so. <laughs> All right. Everything about the steel in my blade and in Bob's blade is identical. The thing that scares me right now is if I got this thing too hard, the first time he hits that ramrod, it's going to shatter like glass. Well, Daniel, it held up very well. The edge is just not quite as sharp as it was before, but there's no rolls, there's no chipping. This was impressive to watch you do. This is your second blade. Thank you, sir. Alan, you're up. You ready? I'm jealous. <laughs> I want to swing it. And I'm just like, oh, You can't look away. It's like a car wreck. You just lock in. Well, we're in the same camp now. Well, Colin, your knife broke, obviously. <laughs> the grain structure in here is sort of in between. It's not quite as coarse as I've seen, but it's uh, certainly not the finest grain I've ever seen. The thing that's really telling is there was a MIG weld that went across here to hold this piece of mild steel on the side. Right next to it, there's this bronze line. And what that tells me is that there was a surface crack there before the heat treat. That's why it broke where it broke. Mm. Daniel, you'll be moving on to the final round. Congratulations. Colin, Bob, both of your blades suffered catastrophic failures in our strength test. Colin, your blade lasted longer than Bob. Bob, your blade suffered that catastrophic failure in one stroke. And for that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. If you've never broken a blade as a bladesmith, you have a bladesmith. I have no regrets. This is merely a stumbling block when you're walking down the street. You get up, you dust yourself off, and you move on. I came here to prove that I can make a knife under strenuous conditions in three hours. I did that. Win or lose, I did that. <laughs>